Okay, so let's imagine that you've created glossary entries with your students or by yourself and you want to add a pronunciation angle to them. You want to embed sound into them so that students can hear how words or phrases should be said or not be said. Let's see how you do that. Here's an example of a glossary entry and you can see that I've divided it into sections of meaning and use, form and phonology. So, as we scroll down, we can see in the meaning and use section an example, my son is very sensible, when they should say sensitive, and here, just to the right, there's a widget that looks like a loudspeaker. If we click on that, we see a little pop-up and there's a play button. Let's play it. My son is very sensible. My son is very sensible. Now, there we have an embedded recording of this example sentence. Now, let's see how you can do that yourself. Let's scroll down to the bottom of this page and turn on editing for this uh, glossary entry by clicking here. Then we're in editing mode, and if I scroll down to the bottom of this entry, we'll find under the phonology section some work in progress. Here I have examples of the English pronunciation of the words sensitive and sensible, and their corresponding German pronunciations sensitive and sensibel. I've already added um, pronunciation models here, so let's finish the job by adding one for Zensibel. I place my cursor where I want to add the sound file and here I see a widget that looks like a loudspeaker that says insert or modify sound. Click on that and I get a pop-up that looks like an old sound recorder with a recording button in red. I'll press this in a moment and then make my recording and afterwards I will press the button on the right. Okay, silence please, let's record. Zensibel. Zensibel. Now I can check if that's worked by pressing the play button. Zensibel. Zensibel. Yes, it seems to have worked. So if I press OK, that should then upload to Moodle. And yes, it has. Here we can see the little widget that tells me that the sound file has been embedded. So if I go to the bottom and save my changes, it will return me to the original page. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I can see here now my four examples and if I click on the new example that I've just made I'll get the pop-up box and if I press there Zensibel. Zensibel. perfect just as I want it so that's how you embed sound files into certain modules in Moodle it doesn't work everywhere but it definitely works in the glossary module and so it's a nice way of expanding or extending what you and your students do there. Thanks a lot for viewing. Happy Moodling!